Yesterday we had our C8 Corvette meet and greet up in Brownwood Paddock Square in the villages here. And uh, I thought I'd change it up a little bit instead of flying the drone and showing all the cars and everything. What I did was I talked to the people and I asked them, uh, the people that own the cars, some of them were not even C8 owners, but they were interesting. And uh, comments about things like um, joining a Corvette club and why did you buy a Corvette? Why a Corvette? And uh, yeah, I think we have an interesting uh, program for you today, and I think you'll be interested in hearing what these Corvette owners had to say about the car. We're at the meet and greet, C8 meet and greet up here in Roundwood Paddock Square this morning, and we're going to go and talk with my friend over here, Mike, who is the owner of this beautiful white, I should say white, yeah, this beautiful ceramic matrix gray metallic Corvette, which I absolutely love, convertible, obviously. And I'm just gonna show you around a little bit here. You get this beautiful blue interior. Look at that, doesn't that match is beautiful. And uh, I love the wheels that are on the car. Those wheels look fantastic. Everything looks absolutely primo. And he's got the GT2 seats in there, which I really love. They're my favorite seats, by the way. So, Mike, how did you end up with a C8 Corvette? Because people, people, you know, want to know, um, you know, well, what... Okay. Yeah. I, I originally had a C6, uh, 2013 C6, so from my first Corvette. So I got into Corvettes there. Yeah. And had some problems with it and sold it. And then all of a sudden in 2020, they came along with this thing that were... Um, mid-engine and you know couldn't resist yeah. had, had to get one amazing car uh, what's uh, what's your favorite uh, what do you like most about the car I like the transmission the most the way it shifts yeah. it's, it's fantastic beautiful. isn't it it's and it's very, quick very quick I can't shift I can't even come close to how fast this transmission shifts it's really really amazing so you like the transmission anything else that really tickles your fancy on the car Convertible, uh, I'm sure. Just, just the fact that that top can go up and down pretty quick. and uh, pretty nice, it's, huh? It's fun to show off with it, yeah. We're here this morning with my friend JR, who's been a constant uh, companion up here. And um, one of the things people like, want to know is, um, and I think a lot of people want to know this, is how did you end up buying a C8 Corvette? What was your stimulus? I drove one. <laughs> yeah. There was nothing wrong with my C7 Grand Sport. Yeah. But when you get into a C8 and you drive it, it's a total, total different program, you know. And I first bought a used uh, 2021 red one like that one. And then I saw this in the Love Chevrolet showroom online. And that color, I just loved it and negotiated with them and made a deal. My other one was a coupe. This is a convertible, which is really convenient. And it's much quieter than the coupe too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. yeah, when that top is up, you don't hear the engine at all. Where in the coupe, you still hear the engine. Okay. Um, now, yeah, it was the color that kind of sold me on the car. It's just so unique. You don't see the it. Color, the color, Tad, I hope, I hope the camera is capturing this color because it really is a beautiful, 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 I uh, call it a light colored gray, grayish green. Is, yes, is that what you call it? cacti green. So yeah. It's got green, mostly green, but if in the dark, it looks a little bit more gray. It's very, yeah. it's very different. Yeah. All right, so got a few gentlemen here and one of the things we just were talking about it. Uh, What's the big deal, you know, I mean, why do people buy Corvettes? Well, you, you went out and buy a, bought a Corvette because. So where's the because? That's what everybody's kind of interested in. I think the viewers out there would like to know what's the deal, you know, what's the deal with it? So I'm going to start with Wayne over here and then we'll go to Don. And, yes, Wayne, well, what do you think? Corvette. You know, it goes back a long time. I had two older sisters and one of them was dating a young man with a brand new Corvette. This would have been, she was still in high school, so this would have been back in 55, 18, 50, yeah, 18, yeah, back with <laughs> yeah, single horse buggy. Uh, but, but it was probably back 55, 56. And I loved that car. 
And I, I couldn't wait for her to go on a date. That meant that he would have to come and leave the car there while they <laughs> courted, shall we say. And I would watch that car all day long. I could watch that car. As I got older, I found out just what it would cost me to own that car. Couldn't afford it. Got married, had a baby, still couldn't afford it. Finally, it was my first one was a uh, red C5. And that okay. was a graduation present to me when my daughter graduated from college. Oh, wow. I decided that my last tuition payment would be my first car payment. Car payment. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it worked out. And I thought I had the best car in the world. I loved that C5. Oh, yeah. Kept it for 23 years. And then I saw this one at the uh, museum back in 2019. And I says, that's the only thing that could replace it. And it did. I love it. Don. Yes. You were saying something very interesting about clubs. I yes. thought was interesting. Well, the club experience is a wonderful experience. You get to meet a lot of people. And of course, there's a lot of events that go on in the club, dine and drives, car shows, different things. And also things they do, which is nice, is they have a lot of things that appeal to the wives as well. So it's a whole camaraderie. And uh, you develop a lot of great friendships. Uh, we've had a good time. We've met a lot of wonderful people. There you and, go. Uh, we've become pretty good <laughs> friends over the years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. I enjoy it. Good. As a result of the club, too, you see a lot of things that you wouldn't normally see. Exactly. I mean, we know about restaurants that I bet you one in a oh, hundred yeah. people in this villages don't know about, simply because we do driving nights. That's that's a, that's an excellent point. The restaurant part of it is yeah. very very interesting because you get to see a lot of. Very interesting uh, restaurants yep. for sure. Off, off the beaten path kind of places. Yes, exactly. Tom, what did you? What's your take on all this? Well, my take is that I've had Corvettes in my garage continuously since 1981. Wow. And I just love to drive Corvettes. Uh, I've had it was way back to the, the C3s and C4s and uh, C5s, sixes and sevens and uh, and um, I finally uh, wanted to. I get into car shows. Uh, that's what uh, Don was saying. Uh, so we, we do a lot of drive and dine, but we also do a lot of car shows, and I turn out to be a kind of a car show uh, fanatic. And yeah. uh, so and I've probably taken 50 or 60 car show trophies with my cars in the wow. last 10 years or so. But I enjoy I enjoy my C8. I, I was the one of the first people. I, I was actually the first in our club to take the dealer of a C8. I had it now for four years and three months, and uh, and still love it. Uh, still does well in car shows. And, and I meet a lot of people from different clubs, and so I always have a time to chat with them when we go to shows. You know, get one upcoming in Myrtle Beach in about two weeks. Oh yeah, yeah, you were talking about show. that, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So, but uh, they are fun to drive. This is the first time I've joined a club when we moved to the villages, and, uh, and all of our friends are in the club, and uh, yep. it's just it's been, been great. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm with Ron Alea here, and he's got his Red Mist. C8 metallic? Corvette. Red Mist Metallic. Red Don't Mist forget metallic. the metallic. Yeah, and the metallic, yeah. And so I, people want to know, they keep asking me, you know, what, what, why do people buy these Corvettes? What are some of the reasons they buy them? And uh, what is it you like about the Corvette? Things like that nature. Can you tell me a little bit about, and you told me earlier that you own eight of these Corvettes, so you're not a newbie. No. But uh, why, why the C8? Well, I gotta go. I gotta go back to the to the to the beginning. Okay. High school, I got a ride in a '58 oh. Corvette, four-speed. I grew up on the suburbs of Detroit. Wow. And um, we have a famous drive. It's called Lakeshore Drive along yep. the St. Clair River. At a party, I got a ride in a in a '58 Corvette one night at this party. Bob, I was hooked. <laughs> and growing up in the Motor City, every year these. The cars come out and what have you. And finally, about uh, I was about 37. Uh, I bought my first one. It was a 72 LT1, and I had that for a long time. And then I just gradually moved up. And my last car was a 19 Grand Sport. I had that for four years. But when this came out in 2020, one of these days I've got to get that. But with all of the rigmarole to get it up until recently, and even I had rigmarole getting this car. It took me four months. Wow. And I got it in Ohio. I had to drive up to Ohio to get it. But I got it from the same guy I got my Grand Sport. This car is, a, is completely different than the C7. 
it drives differently and I'm still not used to the difference in the in the push as opposed to the pull. Okay. The Grand Sport was a terrific driving car. Yep. This is also. Um, I like the style. I, I just think the, the, the mid-engine, the, the rear end of the car, just it's it's all style and, and what's under the hood. So with 495 horsepower, you can't go wrong. It has a little panorama. One of the things about getting a group of people together with C8 Corvettes and even with not C8 Corvettes, uh, they all come down here and love to uh, talk about the cars and discuss um, club activities or whatever else they want to do. I mean, it's really great. And this is the whole idea about getting all these people together is they get to talk with all the other owners and all the people who maybe would like to own a C8 Corvette. And you can get a lot of information and a lot of data just by talking to these people who own these cars. Tell me a little bit about a little bit about your car. It looks beautiful. Well, you have the beautiful I, stripes I just and everything. I fell in love with these cars. The yeah. design of them and the price was. Yeah, I felt like I was getting a Ferrari for, you know, one third of the exactly. price. Exactly. Right. So, yep. uh, and and I I just don't think a car looks any better than that for the price. And plus, it's got a lot of power. I I get up and go pretty good sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is Keith, and he's a Facebook captain for the Villages Corvette Club. He does a great job on the Facebook page. But somehow my video didn't come out, and I was only able to save this very short clip. When you see Keith, thank him for all the work he does, and we'll have him on in a future video. All right, we're with Rich Udell who's um, the proud owner of this Callaway Corvette. And this Callaway Corvette is, what's been done to it now? Tell well, me again. I'd love to is, hear the story. <laughs> this is the prototype. This car basically demonstrates everything that Callaway has to offer the public now. So everything that's on this car, this car is, is a wide body, has 21s and 20 wheels, it has 345 rear tires, the steering has been uh, modified, the car has been lowered, tuned exhaust, and obviously supercharged at 687 horsepower. Um, it is just an incredibly wonderful handling car and the performance is uh, simply unparalleled. You can go get groceries and as Bob knows as an old autocross man you can get groceries in the morning and you can go to the track in the afternoon. That's Same right. car. That's right. Beautiful car. I'm with Gary who is a new club member of the Village Vets Corvette Club and he's got this beautiful silver... Silver 2024. Silver 2024 and absolutely gorgeous with the red uh, interior, which I like, and the red stitching, which looks absolutely gorgeous, and the black wheels. Uh, killer, killer car. It looks great. So, Gary, how did you get into Corvettes? <laughs> to be honest, I was more of a muscle car guy in high school. Um, I was never really a vet guy. In 2020, I was driving on the street. A neighbor pulled up in one of the first C8s. And it was just gorgeous. I asked him, what, you know, what the hell is this? He goes, that's a vet. And I couldn't believe it. Hopped out of the truck. We talked for a while, and I knew then I was going to get one. Fast forward a few years later, and uh, I told my wife I'm ordering this car. And at first, she wasn't sure. But now she loves it probably as much, if not more, than I do. <laughs> <laughs> so now you joined the club, too, because? I did. I've never owned a Corvette before. I rode motorcycles for years, and I knew okay. that guys who'd been around were a wealth of knowledge. Yep. You wouldn't invest seventy-five, a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars into a business venture if you hadn't done it before, would you? And I thought, mm -hmm. if I'm gonna spend this kind of money on this car, and as my daily driver, yeah. it makes sense to be around guys who've owned these cars for decades. And and it, that's what I found. There's so much knowledge in the club. Everybody's oh, yeah. super nice. Yep. There's all yep. kinds of events. Yep. Everything from the manual will tell you what what the manufacturer says, but these guys with all their inside knowledge know so much more. Thank you. Gary, thanks so much. You're Appreciate your time and effort here. The car looks, car looks absolutely spectacular. Thanks. Oh, great.